Hi guys, and welcome back to another video from the Wilsonian Movie Museum. Guys, so this uh, this video is going to be quite a quick one. Um, it's not going to be as long as my usual snorefests. Um, basically, I'm making this video today because I have just finished putting together this Marvel Steelbook wall that you can see behind me. So this is just right behind where I usually film these videos. Um, and I've just finished putting this together now. So um, basically, what I wanted to do was just showcase the type of magnets I've used and how something like this sort of comes together um so basically um i know a lot of collectors do this already i've seen many pictures from people who already put their steel books up on the wall with magnets and um there's no right or wrong way to do this guys i'm just going to tell you how i have done it around this room i've probably got upwards of 200 steel books um, in every little bit of available space i can find i'm slapping up a magnet and um showcasing a steel book um so i've probably done about 200 of these so far in this room and um, i've been very happy how it looks and um yeah luckily i have never had a single one get damaged because of it i've never had one fall off the wall get scratched and um, they've all been perfect so yeah guys i wanted to show today how i've done it just in case um anybody out there is wanting to do the same with their collection or they were just curious how how something like this comes together you know what type of materials are needed so basically what i use are these packet of magnets here these uh, these three flat strong magnets from a company called three by three so these actually are a seattle company so they are actually based out of america even though i can order these through my local um stationary retailer called office works here in australia um and these are actually made in china um, they're actually a, an american company so guys if any of you watching this in the states then you may be able to pick these up locally um i'm not too sure but i know that i can get these readily available here in australia and um, they come in three flavors and um, basically you can get these white backed ones uh, you can get stainless steel or you can get black but Personally, guys, it really makes no difference whatsoever because once you've put tape on these um, or however you want to stick them to your surfaces, um, you don't see the back of these anyway. You see the magnet underneath. So basically, I I've really, I've, I've not been picky in the 200 plus I've bought. I've gone through all three different colors, whatever's available. So they're all the same. They all have very strong magnets on the rear, um, which allows the steel book to stay in place. So um, yeah, they're three by three for anybody who is interested in what I use. And as you can see, they are super thin as well, super thin. But not just that guys the um the the best thing about these magnets so this is one here the best thing about these magnets is the actual surface itself is so smooth it uh it there's no way it's going to scratch the steel book i've like i say i've taken taken off um old steel books put up new steel books and i've always checked the back just to make sure and there's no damage whatsoever so i've been very happy with these um i did originally go through a few different magnets a few different types when i first started this um, this sort of design um one of them the magnet was very grainy it was almost like sandpaper and there was no way i was using it i knew that it would scratch the the surface um and then i discovered some that had like a layer of almost velvet or some soft material over the surface which i thought was a great idea because it would protect the steel books but it made the the magnet less magnetized if that's a word i think it is um less uh, magnetism um and then the steel books started slipping down which i wasn't happy with either eventually they would have just fallen off and again damaged the steel book on the impact so um yeah i uh, i went through a few different options before finding these three by three steelbooks online and then when i ordered one packet just to trial them i thought they are amazing and i've used them ever since so basically how i get these to stick to the walls is with this scotch tape here this extremely strong it's outdoor graded double-sided scotch tape so guys this just this little roll here um is measured to hold up to 30 pounds this um this whole sort of 60 inches 1.5 meter roll so it is super strong it really is i've actually got another one open here <laughs> a big one um so this is what i've been using to to finish this marvel steelbook wall with so there's 49 steelbooks on that wall and i've still got all this left over so what i typically do with these magnets here's another one <laughs> is one i made earlier um is i cut two strips out from the sticky tape 
tape it to the back and then once you peel this this sort of red um, cover off it to reveal the stickiness you just simply stick them to the wall hold it for about 20 30 seconds however just pressing uh, putting pressure against it and uh, job's done so i will say guys if um you know you are going to sort of do this as well with this these type of materials um once these go on the wall make sure they are in the exact spot you want them um as i've been changing things around in this room i do quite regularly um there have been a few magnets i've had to remove and it's near impossible. I've had to get a screwdriver in between the wall and the top of the magnet here just to pry it forward to get it off the wall. And I ended up bending the entire magnet just to get it off. So these are so strong. They really are. There's no way these magnets are falling off once they're stuck to your air surface. Um, so yeah, guys, basically what I do with these walls is measure out first to see how many steel books I can fit on the area just to make sure it's all symmetrical and it fits sort of within the frame as you can see here there's the you know same surface from the the top of the skirting um, or cornices and um, down to the the tiles and basically I'll just take one off just to show you and um, there it is right behind the steel book um, so that is stuck to the wall and it is absolutely solid there's no way that is coming off at all even if i could get my finger gripped behind it there's no way i could pull that off it is absolutely on there super strong and then uh, just behind the next one there so there's one magnet per steel book that's all it needs and um, the magnets are so strong once the uh, once the steel books do sort of get in place there that's all all it needs and they won't slip down they won't uh, they won't fall off and get damaged and again because the magnets are so smooth it doesn't scratch the back of them either so i'm very very happy with how these have sort of turned out and then um, the best thing i like about these steelbook walls and collecting steelbooks is something like this it's almost like a almost like a collage of posters, like a, a huge painting. And it's forever changing. Every time I get a new Marvel Steelbook, I can take down one that I sort of no longer want to want to look at and uh, replace it with something new. So it's forever changing. And that's what I absolutely love about uh, about sticking Steelbooks onto the wall like this. So I do have this gap here that, that, um, that print's gonna come down and I'm actually gonna fill that entire brick area as well. I've got more Marvel Steelbooks, especially the Zavi exclusive lenticular cover ones. They're gonna fill that wall there. So eventually, which I'll hopefully show off in a future video, this entire wall section is going to be covered and I think it'll look beautiful. So this is a Marvel section I've made here. Um, where it used to be was just behind the TV, which I've actually replaced with DC steel books. So they're all just behind the TV over there. So that's eventually going to stretch from floor to ceiling. Um, once I can actually get my hands on even more magnets. So guys, that is pretty much it. The shortest video I've ever made. Um, so spot on strong magnets from three by three and scotch double-sided tape guys so basically i uh, i don't have stocks or shares in any of these companies i'm just showing them off because they're the best of what i have found um for my um steelbook walls and uh, yeah guys if you want to sort of do what i do um then that, that's what i recommend so good luck with it all guys and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video again and until next time i uh, i will see you soon thanks guys Cheers. bye